Welcome to Is It Fast? And today we will be interviewing Tony Gillum, Team Principal and Manager of Team Hard. Tony, we are here at the 2020 Team Hard Scholarship Session at Blyton. Why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, what we're doing here today? So we've been here all week. Uh, we came Monday to set up. We've got 100, well, 100 plus scholars now that we're seeing this week to assess for our GT Cup prize at the end of it. Um, so far, so good. It's been an amazing week. A little bit cold, a little bit chilly, some mixed conditions. But that's what you get in British motorsport. So it's been a, it's a great eye-opener for a lot of people. We've seen a lot of great talent already. We've still got a day to go. So I think we've got another 28 people this morning, or, or today. Um, so yeah, it's been great so far. So if you're thinking about getting into motorsport, or you're thinking about signing up next year, um, what kind of thing would you say to a, a budding racer that is just on the edge of signing up, but doesn't quite know whether to do it or not? We've had lots of positive feedback so far. I mean, I've not heard of any negative. There's sometimes you get some, but it's about learning to make it better for the year after. But um, we've learned a lot about ourselves. I think the scholars have learned a lot about the team, our ethos, what we're about, the family feel. It's also an education for them and their motorsport program. Um, a lot of people are saying it's the best £500 they've, they've ever spent in motorsport so far. Now, hopefully that's not just a sales pitch for them to us, but genuinely with what we're going through today, it's more than just driving the race cars. They get a couple of sessions in our cars for assessment with professional instructors. They have a fitness test um, assessment. They have a media Q&A session with our, with our team to see what the guys are like because we're going to be putting them in front of our sponsors and partners. And they also have a presentation with Jack Goff about the do's and don'ts of social media, the whole education process of what it takes to be a modern day racing driver because it's evolved so much. And as a team, we've learned a lot and we're passing that education on to the budding racing drivers out there and showing that motorsport is accessible if you're with the right team and you've got the right attitude and the mentality to make sure that you're it's almost 80% off track nowadays. So there's lots of important areas that you need to work on other than just be fast in the car. No, that makes perfect sense. And so for anybody that's new to uh, motorsport or racing in general, what is it about Team Hard that makes it different to everybody else on the grid? Um, with us, there's no catch. It's, there's no real, real buy-in. If you believe in our brand like we do, then there's an opportunity to go racing. We race at every step of the motorsport ladder now, from karting all the way through to junior program in the Genetas and Saxos, all the way up to touring car, GT, GT Cup, and anywhere in between. So we have our, I'm not sure how many other teams do it, um, but we have a whole complete racing ladder within our team. It's very much a family feel, but we do everything in-house. So the media, training, the whole fitness, the, the, everything that you need to be a racing driver, we now have in our armory. We've moved to our new premises, which has allowed us to do that and take everything to the next level. So it's, hopefully, it's working for the people that have been associated with us before, and it's an eye-opener for the people that are learning about the team. Some people come to scholarship never heard of us before. So that's us to do our branding, to make sure that people are aware of what we're doing and what we're about, and hopefully appeal to more and more people as they, they come through. But what sets us aside, I think, is that we are still a small family team, arguably now the biggest team in the UK at the same time. So it's a very different concept that we operate from, and it's one that is relatively hard to replicate because it's been sort of 20 years in the making from my own racing activities, but we've got lots of like-minded individuals associated with the team that's helped us really develop and sort of transform from a very, very entry-level team into some, let's say, a professional race team of today. We've still got still got bits to learn, we still want to improve in certain areas, but when you think you're better than everybody else, you're actually not. We definitely don't think that at all. We, we're still improving year on year. Um, we started the journey with a 10 year program. We're about to enter year seven. And I'd say we're, we're pretty much on schedule of where we wanted to be. And we've still got goals of where we want to end up. Perfect. And then lastly, because I know you've got to shoot off, um, how do you feel about 2020? Are you feeling confident? I imagine you probably are. We are looking forward to this year. Um, I think. It, like, like every year, you're, we're better prepared this year than last year, and better prepared last year was than the year before. But this year's very different in the sense that we've essentially got brand new Volkswagen CCs for the first time. We've made a massive development on the car. Um, I can't go into too much detail, but we've made lots and lots of changes via our experienced engineer team. Jack Goff with his experience. Cole Baldy's got a very good engineering mind, and obviously bringing the BMW in the camp is going to be great for us to see what that's all about 
and learn rear wheel drive. But then rippling through the team, we're very confident a lot of championship footballers are going to be involved in this year. We're going back to the VW Cup this year, so we'd like to get our hands back on the title. We won it twice, sort of 17, 18, and we finished second in 2019, so we won our title back, so we're going for that one. GT Cup, good debut year for us. We're backing that again this year. We dipped our toe at Brick Car at the end of the year, so we might look at doing that as well. So we've, we've got lots and lots of championships. The Junior Saloon Car Championship we're involved in as well. So very excited for the year ahead. Lots of stuff going on. And we will be launching the 2021 scholarship pretty much as soon as this one's finished because the interest is high. We do limit the numbers um, because otherwise it gets too busy. And we, we like to give sort of quality rather than quantity. So we limit the numbers sort of 20, 25 people a day so that we can get enough time with our scholars. And the feedback so far has been that they've had enough time to get to know us. We have enough time to get to know them. And they're getting enough seat time for us to be able to judge them properly. And it's, it seems to be all working. So the, the 2021 scholarship will be announced. We're looking in good shape for the touring car. We've got new and existing sponsors on board. We've got a great driver lineup. It's all coming together and we're, we're genuinely really looking forward to it as we, as we always do. But this year we've got a little bit, we're a little bit more quietly confident, but it doesn't mean anything until you actually achieve the results you strive for. So let's see what we can do. We're hungry for more. We sampled a win last year with, with Jack at Silverstone in the right circumstances, but we want to do it on genuine pace and we do want to be one of the top teams in British motorsport. Perfect. Tony, I know you're busy today, so I'll let you get off no your scholars. Thank Thanks you. Thanks very much. Perfect. Catch you later. Cheers.